So, question number three is the best sequel to a movie franchise. Now, when we say sequel, to make sure everybody know, it's the second movie to the franchise, okay? And I am going to let Evan go first. You're so fucked up for that. You <laughs> son of a bitch. All right. Well, because I was forced to pick the second movie in a franchise, even though my definition of sequel is different from DeAndre's, I'm going to pick arguably one of the greatest cinematic sequels of all time. Star Wars Episode Five. Don't get it twisted. It's the second movie, The Empire Strikes Back. Okay. Let's look at all the big ass shit that came from this movie just for the Star Wars universe in general. Yoda was introduced in this movie. Lando Calrissian was introduced in this movie. Okay. Uh, the best, like, okay, moment happened in this movie when Han Solo, when, when Princess Leia tells Han Solo, I love you, and he goes, I know. Stone cold motherfucking crazy. Okay. Plus, the biggest reveal in the history of movies. When Luke's like, you killed my father, and Darth Vader says, no, spoiler alert, no, I am your father. Lando's a bitch. Okay. This yep. is mm. one of the most important cinematic movies, in my, in my honest opinion. It set an example of what a sequel movie could be. Then you have movies like How High 2 that are trash, or Too, Too Fast, Too Furious, which isn't the greatest in the franchise. There are good sequels and there are bad sequels, and Empire Strikes Back was the good sequel. All right, so I'm gonna go first, all right? Because, because if you know me, then you know my stance on Star Wars. Star Wars fucking sucks. I don't give a damn to nobody. I hate Star Wars. <laughs> Do you know what's wow. better? You know what's the better than Star Wars? Listen, listen, listen. I, I, I comment on myself to be a jock nerd. Okay, I love nerdy shit, but I who doesn't I, like Star? I hate Star Wars. You know what's better than Star Wars? Spaceballs. Spaceballs is better than Star Wars. All right? All right? That's me, personally. All right? But you also think Grease 2 is better than Grease. you damn right. I didn't pick Grease 2, but you <laughs> oh. damn right. But you damn right. Oh, you lost your credibility. Right? <laughs> Fuck you. All right? <laughs> all right? Uh, I think that – I'm not – again, I'm, I'm not a big Star Wars fan. All right? Uh I will say this though, it do have uh, that for for its time, it was ahead of its time. I, I'll give I will give that. However, I'm just I, I'm not a, I can't get into Star Wars, man. I, I hate it for passion. Uh, CJ, all right, as y'all say, uh, Evan, you lazy motherfucker, picking this fucking movie. This was like the like this was like the easiest fucking choice possible you know, because the best. first movie. No, no, not because it's the best. It's definitely not the best sequel. Okay. Uh, it's just good because the first one, I mean, the first one was ahead of its time, but it was so slow and drawn out and like nothing that really happened. It's just building background. So of course the next one's gotta be real better. You know, yeah, they don't you know the first movie, if you actually watch the first movie again, all you'll see is like it's just a bunch of talking, but you walking around, you know. Fucking Luke sitting there staring at the fucking, you know, staring at the fucking uh, sunset, you know, with a long pause and music in the background, you know, like, you know, and ships flying around, doing absolutely nothing, just flying back and forth. The action and things actually going on in the movie are spread way the fuck out. You know, and there's most parts of absolutely nothing going on. It's just backstory and building character. So of course the second movie doesn't have to do all that. You know, so of course you know things do different things. So of course it's going to be better than the first one, but it's still not even that great. You know. It's just, ooh, it just hurts me that you fucking chose this movie. I'm fucking, I'm pissed off at you. This movie was a layup. You, and I'm offended that you chose it. <laughs> All right, Joe's on you. If, if the category was best half of a sequel, then yeah, because uh, oh. <laughs> there's really two stories there. There's Luke's story and there's Han's story, and Han's story here. I, let me sum up Han's story in three words. No, four words, excuse me. Fix the fucking hyperdrive. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's the whole goddamn movie for Han Solo. Yes, the Luke reveal is fantastic. It's wonderful. Uh, but for the love of God, fix the freaking hyperdrive. You could have made it a one-hour movie, but they would never do that, so you're stuck with filler. And I... Cinema... Cinema, cinema, whatever, Lee. I, I, no, I can't, I can't oh, buy it. Yes. 
Yeah. I can't buy it. No, I, I'm I'm a story driven guy, and and no, I don't like it. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, CJ, you next. All right. The movie I chose was Bad Boys Two. Like, man, great, yeah, great action movie. You know, you can't you can't go wrong with fucking Rocky, though. I take that back. They fucked that last one up. But yeah, the sequel to Welcome Bad Boys is yeah, that's, that's got to be one of the fucking best movies ever. You know, even if you didn't watch the first one, you see, you know, you can get right into this one. It's a standalone movie. You know, great action, fucking comedy. You know, you can follow the fucking storyline. You know, you know, you know, even the cinematography. You know, just amazing shots. Thing. So it's, it's, you know, the acting was amazing. It was just all around great movie. You know, I don't even really need to say much. It was just amazing. Uh, Joe, you first. Um, first of all, uh, this is just a personal thing with me, Michael Bay. <laughs> I just shit. Jesus Christ! Come on. Hey, oh, hey he's had some missing. Can't we do better as a nation? <laughs> um, um, also, Henry Rollins and horribly clumsy exposition scenes with the cop, like he's having to explain, like, well, they've gone underground. Well, wouldn't the cops already know this? I don't know. And okay, why why is the KKK burning a cross and doing a drug deal on the same <laughs> night? <laughs> if you're doing a drug deal, don't you want to kind of lay low a little bit? I don't know. Again, I'm story driven. All right, Evans, will you? Okay, so uh, I'm going to start this out by saying I love the Bad Boys franchise. Like, there were some things wrong with Bad Boys for Life, but I thought it was just a good trip that memory lane of why I like Will Smith and Martin Lawrence together. Um, that being said, Bad Boys 2 is not as good as the first one. Uh, I think the original Bad Boys was – it was trend-setting in, in terms of, of not even just the buddy cop movie, but – and all like the the two main stars of the movie were were black, and they were black cops, and they were they were fucking badasses. And I hadn't seen that before in a movie. So uh, the other thing is, it's the it's the second best movie in my opinion, filmed in Guantanamo Bay, behind Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> so um, I just I I didn't get as into the second movie as I did the first movie, even, because I I just was so caught up in how good the first movie was. Um, you know, it, it's hard to, it, it's hard to knock it because the Bad Boys franchise is one of my favorite franchises and, and to Joe's credit, Michael Bay, he's not good at sequels, but even Revenge of the Fallen was better than this one. And that's a Transformers movie and they're terrible. So. All right. Uh, so it was on me. Um, it was really hard for me to to fuck this movie up i am a big um if 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 nobody if none of my friends know now i am a big will smith fan really <laughs> uh, i i am <laughs> i'm a big i know that yeah. uh, i am a big will smith fan um have you heard that new jordan lucas track called will <laughs> <laughs> and have you heard the remix with will smith <laughs> um with that being said i don't think this was even will smith's best sequel I actually oh. think I actually think that uh Men in Black Two yes. was better. Oh hell no. <laughs> I think that Men in Black know. Two was actually better than Bad Boys Two. Um Men in Black Two was a soulless cash grab. <laughs> Thank I, you. Uh, I can be AGM. <laughs> I'll always yeah. remember that scene, bro. So so uh, this is just me personally. Uh, uh Men in Black Two was 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 fantastic. Um uh and I'm not going to lie to you. Listen, listen. So, I, I, I mean, maybe I'm, I'm just crazy because I'm different from everybody else, but I didn't see nothing wrong with Bad Boys for Life. I, I'm sure it, it wasn't it. terrible. It, it wasn't bad to me. Bad Boys for Life wasn't, wasn't bad to me. I actually watched it uh, in theater and I watched it somewhere else. And it <laughs> <laughs> and um, we don't need to get into that, Joe. Yeah, I know you're about to ask. Definitely not. Uh, and <laughs> I, I, I didn't have nothing wrong with Bad Boys for Life. I, I, I think it was better, better than Bad Boys 2. Fucking no. Uh, however, Bad Boys 2 is literally 
it's it's two scenes. It's literally two scenes that makes the movie. It, it's it's he has you throw, throw in a little bit of comedy here and there, but you got the 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 chase in Miami, mm-hmm. and then the chase in in in, in uh in uh, Cuba, and, and those and and those two things makes the movie. Oh, and the and and the KKK getting shot, which is always fun for me uh, to watch. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I just, never, no, I never saw. Uh, uh, I could watch that. So, so <laughs> to, a little side note: uh, the, the Dave Chappelle show. Uh, <laughs> oh God! <laughs> the Dave Chappelle show had. Uh, he was trying to. Uh, he did. He did some extra, <laughs> some extra skits that didn't make it. Um, and one of the skits were he, <laughs> when he shot. He shot a a, a a slave master. It's fucking amazing to me. It's just, to me personally, that that, that brings that brings me joy. Okay. Dave Chappelle is the master of racial comedy. Yeah, he definitely is. The the what is that the uh, the race draft or whatever? Mm-hmm. Amazing. Oh, oh my god! Really All right, uh, Joe, your movie. My movie uh, will be the only one on the list because it is the only one whose original movie won an Oscar for Best Picture and. The sequel also won an Oscar for Best Picture, Godfather 2, the only Oscar successor to an Oscar. I don't know how you're going to argue with that, but but you will, I'm sure. But, oh, yeah, I um, will. Yeah. You have... Um, I mean, it's the precipice of the show, Joe. We have to. Yes, I am. Uh, <laughs> you, got, you got De Niro playing young Brando. You got Michael Corleone consolidating his power, closing the door on his wife at the end. Uh, it's it's almost as if it's the same movie just continued as the first, which you can't say about a lot of sequels. Uh, I know a lot of them said like, oh, we decided, uh, we, we always intended to do another one. Well, no, like they never, they were never going to do a Matrix 2 or 3, obviously, if you watch those. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is, uh, it's right in line with the entire canon and the star power even at the time is amazing don't even think about what people went on to do after all that it's uh i'm not gonna say it's a perfect movie but it's pretty close all right i'm gonna go first with this one um first and first i'm gonna give props to the casting the casting for this movie is fucking amazing uh, it it really is, and when you have uh, Al Pacino and Robert De Niro, Robert Duvall, Diane Keaton, and all those like great, great actors and actresses, it's it's fucking amazing. However, the one thing I will say about Godfather Two, and I'm not saying it's not great, because this is my only thing I can pull my ass, is the fact that Godfather One will it will be always be in the shot in the shadows of Godfather One. Literally, always give me a kid shout out to Godfather. It's one. tough. Um, uh, just like I said about uh, when we said about Watchmen, it's hard. It's hard to say that you're. It's hard to say you're the best at anything when you are in that shadow. Again, the sequel. Some about sequels. So, so I will say that. However, every time I think about Godfather, I think about the first movie. I don't. I never think about the second or the third. Uh, but. I, Nobody thinks about the third. <laughs> so, so I'll get into that. I will get into that. So, so that's that's my only argument about the Godfather is that I, I, I always bring back to the first movie, which both movies are fantastic. It's just that that first movie was so good that I could really only think about the first movie. Uh, CJ. All right. Now. All right. Yeah. First off, I say yeah. This is a really great movie, but. Is this movie is so fucking long? Yeah, I actually fell asleep and woke up and had to rewind it and watch and watch the rest of it again. Uh, it's just so much. It's like it's three and a half hours long, and forty five minutes of that is dedicated to flashbacks, you know, to great backstory for a character who's already fucking dead. Why the fuck would you do that? That's, Oh, it was a waste of time. It's just filler for, for no reason. I don't care how he got to America. I don't give a fuck how he got his fucking carpet. Oh, yeah, those <laughs> are the fucking scenes. And, oh, yeah, this, this part of the movie made it 
so much longer than necessary. Like, no, no, that, that shit just got on my nerves. Like, every time they flash back to that bullshit, I got, I got mad as fuck. So. All right, uh, Evan. Okay, so I can't knock The Godfather too much, or, or The Godfather 2, because it gave us one of my, one of, in my pre- opinion, the better mafia style actors. Al Pacino is fucking great. He's had some misses. He did Jack and Jill with Adam Sandler. God forbid. I don't know why. <laughs> but without the Godfather Part 1 and the Godfather Part 2, there is no Scarface. Okay. Scarface is one of my favorite movies of all time. But I will tell you the reason why I hate Godfather 2. Great movie. Do not get me wrong. Godfather 1, better. Godfather 2 meant that they made Godfather 3. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. And Godfather 3, for those who don't know, the director of Godfather is the great. Francis Ford Coppola. His daughter is a terrible fucking actress. Mm. And she is like the center point of Godfather 3. So because of the fact that Godfather 2 got made, and only because of that fact, is the reason it's not the best sequel of all time, because then they made Godfather 3. Garbage movie. That's that's all I got to say about that. Fuck Godfather 2 on Godfather's 3 behalf. Godfather 3 behalf. <laughs> there you go. All right. all right, so I'm next. And last, yeah, fuck you. And- <laughs> oh, you just gotta make sure yours is last. Huh? Yeah, fair, fair warning to the audience: he picked my fucking movie, but he was first to it, so he he had the right. Hey, listen. So before I say this movie, I'm gonna go with movies that that people thought I was gonna pick. All right, all right. Yes, I, I in my mind, Clerks Two was on there. Clerks I agree. 2. I agree Clerks. with Clerks Two. I love okay. Clerks Two. Okay, uh, in my mind, Grease Two was on there. Boo. All right, Grease Two's on there. Yeah. Uh, some of my friends said Matrix Two, which uh, God damn it, Reloaded was Fuck okay. You. It was okay. Fuck you. All right, me being a nerd that, that love, doesn't like Star Wars, that, that love comics. There's no way I cannot say the Dark Knight wasn't the best sequel to a movie. Let's say this first, right? The trilogy to the all to all three movies, it's called the Dark Knight trilogy. You know the movie, the first movie is called Batman Begins. They just they, they, they said fuck. They ain't said the Batman Begins trilogy. They say the Dark Knight trilogy. <clears throat> Dark Knight to me is hands down, not even hands down. It's, it's it's to me personally, it's probably the best superhero movie of all time. I know people won't say in game. I know people won't say uh, Logan was Logan was good. In game was amazing. Uh, Civil War, I know people say Civil War as well. However, The Dark Knight was, to me, was literally the best superhero movie of all time. And mainly because, I, I will give it, mainly because of Heath Ledger playing the Joker. He played the shit out of that role. It took his life, and I'm sorry about that, but because he did so uh, uh, such a good fucking job with that, he... It, it, he made that movie fucking great. Uh, uh, I would say Christian Christian Bell's not, not the best, <laughs> not the best Batman. I, I would say that. Uh, however, however, he he did an okay job with that as well. Um, like it, it wasn't like I said, it, it was it was fantastic to me. So the Dark Knight is to me the best sequel to a movie. All right, Joe, you're first. I. I did like, uh, I did like all of that, and I did like Christian Bale as Batman because um, you've got your Val Kilmer's in there, <laughs> you got your George Clooney's in there. That's 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 nothing that anybody <laughs> wants to see. We, we we don't have to do that. But my only beef with this movie is, God damn it, they killed Maggie Gyllenhaal. I love her. <laughs> That's all I got. So it's it's a pretty good movie. <laughs> uh, 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 CJ, you next. Oh yeah, right. you saved me for last. Right. Okay. Yeah, this was a, all right. You know, it was long. Anyway, I, you know, I love this Joker. This is the best Joker ever. You know, you know next to you know next to fucking uh, Mark Hamill, the fucking Joker. But uh, man, all right. One question though: Where are the black people at in Gotham? Like, <laughs> No, no, no. no. The, there's like one, there's like one black fucking gang in Gotham, and it got like five people in it. 
the mayor was black. Yeah, and Joker, you know, Joker killed them all off. Oh, yeah, no, he, yeah, the mayor died too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, yeah, Joker killed off all the black people like immediately. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's so that's a fucked up shit. That is so fucked up shit. No, what makes it worse? None of the crime families did a damn thing about it. They didn't even mention it. They didn't say shit. Like, no, they didn't do not a damn thing about it. So, so I'm like, yeah, no, fuck this movie, man. They just didn't get up your boys or nothing. No, fuck y'all. You just pull out your ass, huh, TJ? <laughs> I don't know. No, it's, it's written. It's all written. Right. <laughs> had yeah. notes. He said, I brought yeah, the yeah, receipts. Yeah, What's I'm not going to fuck this movie right there. <laughs> I got notes. Yeah. And Joe Barrett's over here just free balling. <laughs> all right, Evans. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. I can't deny that The Dark Knight is not a good movie. It's a good movie. But, in my defense, without its villains, that movie's garbage. You take Heath Ledger out of that, and even the dude who plays Two-Face, if you take him out of that, that movie's not that good. If you have to just go on the back of Batman, Christian Bale's Batman was not the greatest to me. The Dark Knight trilogy as a whole had great villains throughout. Scarecrow was not a terrible villain. He wasn't the greatest. And I fucking love Bane. Because Tom, Har- I think Tom Hardy killed it. Well, but- did you now? <laughs> I, I, I was born at the dark. <laughs> but I, I like the movie, but it's for the villains. I don't like the movie because of Batman. Um, even though, yes, Dre, you're right. The first movie in the franchise of the Dark Knight trilogy was Batman Begins. But we all know the reason it's called the Dark Knight trilogy. It's not because of the second movie. It's literally because Batman's the Dark Knight. But you don't actually it's do just... that shit at all. <laughs> one, 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 one. To my defense, can you can you actually in the movie, no, not a cartoon, in the movie, can you name a good Batman? It in in the movie, like in the movies. Yeah, Michael Keaton. Outside of Michael Keaton, outside of Michael Keaton. <laughs> as much <laughs> as you're gonna hate me for this, George Clooney. Get the Adam fuck West. out of oh god! <laughs> I just Adam, left Adam West. Yeah. Adam West was a great Batman, but he was on TV. <laughs> No, no, no. They, uh, they, they, they had a movie, too. They, they, was they, a movie. They, oh, yeah. They, they did a movie. Yeah. Um, no, that see, was I have... Repellent. No. I have different things. I have people who I think is a good Batman and people who I think is a good Bruce Wayne. Because I think Ben Affleck was a decent Bruce Wayne, but a terrible Batman. I thought he was terrible at both. Yeah. Uh, I, li- I like the whole <laughs> old guy Bruce Wayne aesthetic, but that, 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 that's neither here nor there. But... I just I I don't like Christian Bale necess- as as a person. It's not necessarily he's a bad actor. I have beef with Christian Bale's character on a, on a personal level. So I but the movie Dark Knight is great. It's one of the better sequels of all time. But it's because Heath Ledger makes that movie, and in a movie where it's not supposed to be his movie, he steals the show. He definitely does. Like, you can't sit there and have it be Batman or, or the Dark Knight supposed to be about Batman, and then this dude comes out of here, knocks it out of the park as Joker, and not expect it to be Joker. I mean, it's like, if if the movie Joker was all about Batman. You know? So, I, I like the movie itself. It's hard to talk shit about it. I personally just don't like Christian Bale as Batman. Well, but, here's, here's the thing. Uh, 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 Heath Ledger actually got um, an a, a Oscar for his role. Yeah, post uh, Yeah. Uh, for, so, I mean, shout out to, shout out to Heath, man. I mean, he played the shit. Uh, again, uh, people think that him getting to this character actually might have killed him, which sucks, but he played shit out of this. Well, didn't, didn't Jack Nicholson say it, it was a hard character to pull himself yeah. out of? Yeah. And you can even ask, that's why... Um, Yoquin Phoenix played it so well. Mm. Yoquin Phoenix's mind has been fucked for years. So he was able to, in, in my opinion, Yoquin Phoenix's Joker was a great Joker. It wasn't bad. No, and, it so, bad. and so I, it's Yoquin Phoenix to me. I don't care if it's Joaquin, but I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's uh, but Heath Ledger's Joker was the first Joker to make me sit there and be like, wow, uh, Jack Nicholson's Joker isn't the best Joker anymore. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like I said, that movie's good because of Heath Ledger, but take mm. Heath Ledger out of that equation. That's not a good movie. All right. Well, this is another episode of Versus. Uh, <laughs> this, is another, this is another episode of Versus. I am DeAndre Robinson. These are my friends. Say goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. <laughs> I don't have any friends. Goodbye. Yeah. Please. <laughs> it's your boy CJ, a.k.a. Empty Pockets. <laughs>
MT Pockets. All right. We love you all. Please stay safe. Hug the loved ones.